morning and it's a Tuesday morning and I'm off work because I've still got COVID and although there's no legal requirement to isolate I thought I would so I am simple as that But it doesn't mean I've got to sit indoors all day. My symptoms have been, uh, it started with a tickly throat and that developed into a bit of a sore throat. Not terrible, not to the point where I thought I need a saltwater gargle, which is usually the cure for a sore throat. Try it out, an old wives tale and all that. Yeah, so that didn't get uh, too bad. I had a really cold spell last night, which I covered myself in layers, which after about two hours, I got too hot and I don't seem to have had any temperature issues since. This has been going on since Friday. As I say, it's Tuesday now. Um, I did have the tickly throat before Friday, but Friday was when I did the lateral flow test and that came back positive. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, an absolutely a dead end. An absolutely a dead end. Let's shove that there. I'll have a look down here. Yeah, so um, yesterday I went out for a walk. The, the main thing that started happening is I've got a dodgy headache. Um, it's between my left ear and the crown of my head sort of midway between the two and it's just a very sharp pulsing jab just just it in the top of the skull or the inside of the skull um, which yesterday I went out for a walk along the along the beach and um, that seemed to really aggravate it it was very painful last night it's not too bad at the moment, so I thought I'd get out and um, have a little ride around, have a little explore. So here I am, oh look at the bike. You probably can't see it with this 120 angle drift camera. So yes, if there's any coughing or sneezing or sniffing that I haven't edited out of this video, I sort of apologise, but I've still got the Covid, haven't I? But what a week, <laughs> what a week to have the Covid. It's gorgeous. I got out on Mediocre Sunday, was it? Yeah, Sunday. Had a little play. And um, obviously today is the day of the V-Strom 250. Going up some dodgy little lanes that, in the case of this one, doesn't actually warn you it's a dead end, but it is a dead end. Never mind. Plenty more. Let's not put that down. Plenty more lanes to explore. I'm sure the last time I come down here it was a through road.
definitely need a new visor. The thing that puts me off, <laughs> he says, with hardly any vision whilst riding into the sun. The thing that puts me off is 80 quid. I've got a Shui GT Air, which, in my personal opinion, wasn't worth the money. It cost me about 450 quid, and it's no quieter than my HJC. What HJC have I got? RAF 11. It's no quieter than that, and that was half the price of this. Um, but yeah, it's 80 quid for a visor and pin lock. And it's just, oh, so much money for a little bit of plastic. But, the visor is fucked. So, the decision would be either another crash helmet because this is my work slash vlogging helmet and my HJC is my posh going out helmet <laughs> which since I've had it I've had it for God, it's got to be a year maybe 18 months I've probably worn it about 10 times <coughs> oh, excuse me And the same as my 650 V-Strom and my 1000cc V-Strom, the 250 is for going up and down little lanes and having a little look about, having a little nose. And today is just one of those glorious days that yearned for this sort of travel. As I say, my Covid infliction is giving me a funny pulsy brain ache, so I didn't want to. Didn't want to. What did I want to do? I didn't want to overexert it. Have a look at this. Didn't want to overexert it by doing proper exercise. So, next best thing, get some fresh air and free your mind and the rest will follow. Is it like that? Is it something like that, isn't it? Nutter. Absolute nutter. But yes, the best prescription I could think of, get some fresh air and actually relax whilst going up dodgy little country lanes. And it's been a while since I've been up this one, so I don't really know what it's got in store for me. But it's just really nice to be out and about sucking in that fresh air and admiring what mother nature can throw at you or indeed plant next to you Absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I'm feeling a little bit warm, a bit toasty in my textiles. Yeah, it's definitely getting a bit warm. I have to pull over and take the, the lining out of my jacket. I 
don't think it's going to stand up here. Nah, that's too squidgy. But the other side. That's better. That's a bit better. All right. Get this lining out the jacket. Gorgeous. That's better. No lining in my jacket, and it's half open or half shut, depending on your disposition. And there's a nice little breeze going in, cooling me down. So yes, nightmare having COVID, because obviously. I'm not earning any money, but the plus side of that is the weather's brilliant and I'm out on my bike. There's always a plus side. Might not be able to afford the petrol that I'm using, <laughs> but I'm going to use it anyway. A for the speed camera. But yes, what a glorious day. I am thankful that I caught COVID <laughs> during some weird mini heat wave. I mean, it must be up to 12 or 13 degrees today. But yes, absolutely glorious. Love the lanes, love messing about in the countryside. Seeing the views. And giving the bike handfuls. Oh, come on. Right, oh, calm down. Calm down, you ridiculously fast 250. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Oh, voice went all funny then. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to see some more, not just on this bike. I have two other bikes. One of which is a custom built GSXR 1000. <laughs> Which I built. <laughs> Scarily true. But yes, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again. Ta ra!